Welcome to V-Man Reviews. Now I think like a lot of you, I've developed an obsession with the Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt cordless power tool range. Now I'm very, very slowly upgrading all my powered tools just because you don't need the cord anymore these days. Their tools are powerful, the batteries last forever, and there's so many to choose from. What is becoming hard though, is finding a place to put them all. Now, I've looked around a fair few different places and a lot of DIY websites and YouTube channels show a lot of different racking solutions. Do you put them in a cupboard? Do you hang them on your wall? Did you know Ryobi themselves produce this hanging wall storage unit that's compact, lightweight, and hangs on the wall? Come along and I'll show you what it's all about. Now, I'm sure many of you are sitting there going, I didn't know this existed. Well, neither did I until I watched a YouTube channel. Pretty sure it was Mighty Car Mods where they actually showcased this or showed it in something that they were filming. And I'll straight down to Bunnings to buy one. Now, there are two different types you can get. You've got this enclosed unit with a big slide up door, secure, you can lock all your stuff inside, or there's an open shelf unit that has another shelf in between. Now before we get into my setup, I'll flip the box around and show you what's included. Right, as I said before, it's a compact powder coated steel storage unit which hangs on a wall. It's got four slots underneath for all your power tools, it takes your grinder, your impact, your drill and your jigsaw. Now, inside this cabinet, the door lifts open and you can secure your battery charger and all your knickknacks inside. It's even got a key so you can lock it up. On top, there's a great big shelf that you can store all your bulky items. Now, one of the best features of this unit is it's got an integrated pegboard on each side of the unit so you can organize and hang up all your accessories. It's also got this fantastic access hole so you can poke your cords in through the side and as I said, put your charger inside. It really is a one-stop shop and it's fantastic. I just don't know why Ryobi don't advertise it more, more freely. This unit here with the door, you can get from Bunnings for about $90. The open storage unit with the shelf in between, it retails for about $80. Now here's a single unit. As I said, it's lightweight, it's made to be hung on the wall. If you've got a standard, typical garage with stud walls, it should be easy enough to find a stud or some framework that you can mount this onto. If you're like me, 
and you've got the typical Australian Colourbond steel frame shed, you might want to look at how you set up your work area. Ideally, you find an area and put up a nice stud wall, that way you've got something solid to mount these onto. Alternatively, you could do like what we've done here, and we've bought a second-hand kitchen, put new bench tops on it from Bunnings, and we've used some leftover laminate board to make an upstand here and put a little bench over the top, which we used to use to store all our tools and knickknacks so they're not lying around and cluttering up your bench area. In our instance, we've now gone and mounted these up on top of the bench and then fastened them into the side of this cupboard so it's all nice and stable. Again, because I don't have a stud wall behind to secure it all onto. Just one thing to consider when you're buying these things and setting up your workspace. But it's great. So, as I said, you've got these four slots underneath that accommodate your typical power tools that you get from Morobi. So these ones with a nice low profile on them, they fit in with a battery and slide straight into the slot. Now where you might have a challenge is where you get the larger tools like this orbital sander that has a much thicker base on it and won't go into the slots. But there's plenty of storage on top and inside these units to accommodate your other tools. The door is very easy to open, you just lift it up and slide it in. Now in this unit, I've got some miscellaneous tools in here. I've got my discs up on the side using the pegboard instead of hanging them on the outside. And I've got my first aid kit. And again, you just pull the door down and it keeps everything all nice and tidy. You have to love that colour too. Now, if you're a little bit OCD like me, one just looked a little bit out of balance. So I've now got two. And what it's enabled me to do is set up this fantastic Ryobi workstation that a lot of people are asking about it after seeing my videos or seeing photos of our workspace in here. So now I'll take you through that and show you what you can do using two of these units and putting some metal pegboard in between. Right, so here's our Ryobi work center that I've set up inside our shed. So on that side I just showed you, I generally have my drills, my impact and stuff like that on that side. On this side, I've got my angle grinder and my multi-tool and I've still got some capacity to expand. So I still need to get a jigsaw down the track. Uh, I do want to get a, one of the large half inch impact drivers and there's a few other little tools as well that I'm sure I can collect along the way. Now the solution to storing some of the more bulkier items is I've got this bench running through here and that's fine to accommodate the inflator, the random orbital sander, and this fantastic work light. If you haven't got one of these work lights, go and get yourself one, they're fantastic. Now, what I've done to improve this setup is I've gone and bought some metal pegboard from Bunnings that's in that black powder coat finish. That complements the pegboard on either side of the units and creates an area where I can have a shelf, in this case for my reciprocating saw, and I can put other accessories up as well. It just links the two units together and creates this great station that you see here, balances it all out and links it together from side to side. Again, appearance isn't everything, but it keeps it nice and tidy and almost has that little bit of a corporate look to it that I think a lot of people go, wow, that looks pretty cool. And again, it's not hard to do. What I've done is I've actually fixed in behind the units to attach the pegboard so it doesn't move around and it's nicely supported. My second unit over here, as I said, holds my grinder, my multi-tool, and then inside, got my router, spare batteries, and the charger. As I said, there's an opening through the side where you can run your cord through and plug it into a power point. It's that easy. On our overhead shelves, we've got our water transfer pump and the filter on this side, and on the other side, I've got the handy little portable blower. Again, if you don't have one of these, they're a great little handy tool to have. I use it a lot for my job, for blowing out houses, showers, and all that sort of thing. It's great in a workshop just to quickly blow things off and out the door without getting the petrol blower out. Again, doesn't look like much, but it's actually really, really handy and easy to use. So there you have it. 
my only suggestion with these wall hanging units is it would have been really, really good if Ryobi included the middle shelf as part of the enclosed unit, just so you can stack things inside. That'd be really, really handy because if you're putting most of your tools outside, it'd be good to have that option. I mean, the other alternative, if you wanted to look at it, is you could get one secure unit and one open shelf unit. The other thing I've noticed is Ryobi seemed to indicate you put your tools in backwards like this. Now, I can't do that anyway because of this bench, but it makes it a little bit awkward to get out. So I think the best way to put them in is this way. Again, keeps it all nice and tidy. You're just seeing the nice backside of all your tools. And it's a lot easier to pull them out and off you go, you're ready to work. Due to the compact size of these units, there's a number of mounting options that you could also consider. If you're in a really, really tight space and you've got a cupboard or a little short wall, there's nothing stopping you from mounting these onto the side of a cupboard. I'm sure they would fit. And another take on that is there's nothing to say that you can't stack two of these vertically. And I think that would work really, really well. So if you had a tall space, you could stack these one on top of each other and that would provide a fantastic tool storage area where you can stack your tools. You've got these shelves for all your bulky tools that sit in between and you could do a, a quite a nice vertical Ryobi workstation. Because everyone knows inside a garage, a shed or any workspace, your horizontal areas are very, very important. So the more vertical storage you can get, the more room you've got. So think outside of the box, there's many, many different options you can do with these, but you have to agree, they're a smart looking storage solution. And I think it's fantastic that Ryobi has produced them. So get down to your local store, buy one, check them out. They're not that expensive. They've got heaps of options. You can do many, many, many things with them. I hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned to our main Worklift Play channel. We've got heaps of projects coming up. We've got some trips away when we can finally get out and about. It's fantastic. We've got heaps of content coming up, many, many ideas, and we're sure to give these tools a good workout as we go along as well. Most of all, stay safe, have fun, get out there, have a go, and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching.